guys, it's Sarah Sargent, and I'm back today with another video. If you guys have never been to my channel before, welcome, and if you guys have been here before, then welcome back. And today, we are going to be swatching my favorite green lipsticks. I have been really obsessed with like army green, mossy green lipsticks for a while now, but when I was thinking about my green lipsticks, I actually have quite a few different shades of green. I realized that green probably isn't for everybody, but I really wanted to share these with you because I think that they're really cool shades if you guys are on the hunt for some green lipsticks, I think that these could be a good choice for you. So we are going to do a quick little lip swatch today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, so first up, I am going to do some tube lipsticks here. I have Melts Blow here. This is a matte, dark, emerald green, uh, but it is a little bit muted also. Okay, so this is Melt Blow, and for a green lipstick, I find this like really wearable. I, I don't know what the shades that went into this to mix this are, but something about their color formula is like super wearable. The other thing I really love about the Melt tube lipsticks is that they are really like matte and dry and stiff which can be a little bit uh, difficult to put on initially but once they're on especially if you're wearing crazy colors like this you don't have to worry about them budging or smearing all over your face because they are matte and kind of dry but not so drying that they dry out your lips they're still like moisturizing and not quite as drying as like a liquid lipstick would be the next green shade that I have is by Fenty, and this is in the shade Turks and Caicos. This is pretty similar to the last shade. It's a little bit lighter. To me, it's a little bit more muted also, but it is a nice, like a muted deep teal. Okay, so this is Turks and Caicos, and again, I think this is a really nice mix of like that teal shade, so it's like a little bit green. It has a touch of blue in it but it's uh, a little bit muted. So to me, if you are gonna dive into the greens, this is like not so crazy. The last of the tube lipsticks that I wanted to show you guys is this one by Melt. This is called Tomboy. This is another one of their matte lipsticks. I wanted to include this shade because it's a little bit of a weird one. To me, it is a green, but it's like a grayish green and I always, say that this shade reminds me of like wet cement. It's kind of like that brownish green uh, grayish. It's a super, super interesting color though. Like I don't have any other shade that's even anything like this. Okay, so this is Tomboy. Again, very unusual and unique shade. Next up, I'm gonna go into some of my favorite green liquid lipsticks and this first one I have here is by Lime Crime. This is in the shade Trouble and this is an army green mixed with some brown, some mustard. It's a really unusual color and actually one of my favorite shades that Lime Crime makes. Now this is a shade that I really love. It has a mix of like an army green with a lot of yellow like mustardy undertones in it so it's really unusual. Actually this is a shade that I will usually travel with on tour. And I said before, if I'm like traveling with a shade, you know I have to love it because there's limited space. So I only bring like my most favorite shades. And if you guys have ever visited me at a show before, you may have actually seen me wearing this because I do wear it quite a lot when I'm on tour. The next shade that I have here for you guys is KVD Vegan Beauty's Tank Girl. And this is a perfect army green. Okay, so this is Tank Girl, another really great green option. Also a tip for you guys, if you're wanting to wear green but you don't wanna wear something that is completely outrageous, I find that these army mossy greens are like closer to the neutral zone. So if you guys are wanting to branch out but you feel not totally comfortable, I would suggest maybe starting with like a mossy or army green shade just to like dip your toe into the green lipstick waters. 
The next shade that I have here is another one of my favorites, and this is called Matcha Gracias by Carity. And if you guys haven't had a chance to check out Carity Cosmetics, I did do a lip swatch of a bunch of their liquid lipsticks, and I've also done some palette reviews on them. So I will pop those up in the corner if you guys are interested in checking those out. This is a really beautiful army green as well. Okay, so this is Matcha Gracias. The next shade that I have here is by Sugar Pill. This is called Dropout, and this is gonna be another one of those army green shades, but this one does have some glitter in it, so as you wear it, the glitter becomes a little bit more noticeable as you press your lips together. Also, I absolutely love the smell of their liquid lipstick. If you guys have never tried them before, it is a creamsicle scent, so it smells so yummy. But don't worry, once it dries down, you don't really smell it anymore. So if you guys are sensitive to scents, it's it's pretty temporary. Another thing that I really love about Sugar Pill lipsticks are their applicators. Their little doe foot applicator is nice and stiff with a nice flat base and a pointed tip so it's really easy to get that nice crisp line around your lips and then with the base you can just easily fill in the rest of your lips so I really love that. Okay, getting into some of the deeper green liquid lipsticks now. I have this shade here by Lime Crime called Serpentina, and this is a deep metallic emerald green. This is a really sparkly metallic green. It does have a lot of micro glitter in it, so when it hits the light, it's like little jewels on your lips, which is really pretty. It's been a while since I got this one, but I think that this was part of the Harry Potter collection. I think that this was supposed to be like the Slytherin color. I guess if you're a Harry Potter fan, you can let me know if you remember this or not. I mean, I could be totally making this up, but I think that that's what this was from. The next shade that I have here is by Sugar Pill. This is called Euphoria, and this is a matte, deep jewel tone teal, so it is a little bit green and a little bit blue. Again, it's a nice mix between green and blue, and if I remember correctly though, I do think that this shade stains your lips really bad, so something to keep in mind if you wanna pick this up. So if you guys can tell from that last shade, it does leave like a bluish tint on your lips, almost like kind of like a dead look. I guess it's all right though, because the next shade and the final shade that I have here for you guys is pretty similar. So it should camouflage the staining. And this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Requiem. And this is a very similar shade to the last one, only metallic. So it's gonna be a really deep jewel toned, teal, like greenish blue with a really pretty reflect in it. I really love Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick formulas. If you guys have ever tried them before, they're really great. They are really creamy and smooth. They kind of just glide on. I don't usually ever have to reapply them. They're not patchy, but they're thick and like creamy enough to where you can get like a really nice crisp application around the lip line, which is really nice. I also have never had any problems with these things like cracking or flaking on me, they're kind of like the, the perfect mix. One last thing that I wanted to do for you guys, because I have had a couple people ask about this, is some swatch comparisons between these colors. So if you guys are looking for a dupe, or maybe you have one of these and you're thinking about getting another one that's really similar, I'm gonna show you guys what these look like next to each other. So. Hopefully that'll help you guys out. Here are all of the army greens. The top one is Lime Crimes Trouble, and then KVD Vegan Beauty's Tank Girl. Then we have Carity's Matcha Gracias, and then down here on the bottom, I have Sugar Pills Dropout. So as you can see, Trouble is really in its own category here. It has a lot of yellow in it, so it's totally unique. I don't have any other color like it. These bottom three right here are all pretty close to each other. Um, I would say that they could all work as dupes for each other. They're really, really close. The only difference is Carity's Matcha Gracias is a tad bit darker, and then Sugar Pills Dropout does have that glitter in it where these other two are just matte. The next two that I wanna compare for you guys are Fenty, Turks, and Caicos, and Melts, 
blue. And these two are actually pretty different. Turks and Caicos does have quite a lot more blue in it and blow is going to be more of a truer green. They're close, but I wouldn't call them dupes. The next two I wanted to show you guys next to each other is Sugar Pills Euphoria and Anastasia Beverly Hills Requiem, and these two are really, really close. The shade colors of these teals are like pretty much the same. The only difference between these is that this Sugar Pill one is matte, and the ABH one is a metallic. The last ones that I have here are Lime Crimes Serpentina, which was that metallic emerald green. That does not really go with any of these other shades, so that is a more unique one. And then down here, Melts Tomboy. Again, this one also is really not a dupe for anything else that I have in my collection. It's a really really unique light green gray shade um so if you guys are looking for something that is going to be totally unique i would definitely pick this shade up from them those are all the green comparisons i hope that this was really helpful for you guys i know that when i'm shopping for lipsticks i really like to see how they compare to other colors that i have it might help me to save some money if i have something that's really similar or it also helps make the decision of picking up something that's completely unique so i hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you guys know of any other green lipsticks that are your favorites that I didn't mention here today, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for more really good green lipsticks. You can also follow me over on Instagram if you'd like. I do post over there pretty much every day on stories. I'm at Sarah Sergeant Pepper. Please also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I think that that is going to do it for today. I hope that all of you guys have a really great day and I'll see you guys in another video.